Welcome back to my channel. This video, we're going to do another portfolio review, okay? We really have been getting a lot of good feedback on people's portfolio reviews, and I want you guys to get as much value as you can while you're building your portfolios, while you apply to these jobs. I can give as much insight as I can give from the perspective of when I was applying to my first jobs and the things that I was going through as I'm looking through these portfolios. But before we get there, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. We're going to be bringing you guys more content like this. And I really hope you guys get a lot of value and please continue sending me your portfolio subscriptions or not subscriptions, but Please keep emailing me you guys' portfolios and I will review them as they come. I got flooded with emails with um, this past portfolio review and I'm just so honored to be able to review these for you guys and give you guys good feedback, advice, and just encouragement to keep applying, keep learning, keep applying pressure and Great things will happen over time. It's not going to be easy, but it's definitely worth it at the end. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so we have this portfolio from Grajan Prusik. Sorry if I mess up your name, buddy. I'm just, hey, man, my name is Xavion. People mess up my name all the time. So, again, I apologize for that. So I got an email from him. He's, he stated that he's been looking for a job for a year. And he still can't get any with front end and react. And he's looking for any job, wouldn't turn down any offer and wanted me to review his his portfolio. I would love to, man. Great. So landing onto your portfolio, it looks great. Um, just from a visual standpoint, I know uh, um, you don't have any like pictures of yourself or anything like that. Um, I see you have a logo here home about projects so the, and then you have your resume usually somebody goes they scroll and they try to see what's going on here okay he's a passionate front-end react developer in Poland um, he has some experience at a couple places did an intern and these are his skills, HTML, CSS, TypeScript, Storybook, React, Git, JavaScript, Redux. Okay, okay. Okay, the first project that he has is Ramen Swap. Built a front end for a website that is decentralized token exchange. Project was done by a team of three, React, TypeScript, Redux, SAS, and a couple other things. Let's, let's test it. All right, it seems like it follows the same theme as your portfolio, which is very dark. Um, okay, get started. All right, select the token. So, if I was to expect this, I'm sure he is doing some um, API calls. Let's go down here. It looks like this is this probably being fetched from an API, right? I would hope so. Um, Select tokens. All right, that doesn't matter. All right, well, anyway, um, okay, we got some tokens here. Um, this token, connect wallet. Oh, token swap. Okay, so you, you add what, $20 worth? And if you connect your wallet, okay. Um, all right, that's a decent project. Um, kind of confused of what to do though, um, which probably somebody who's looking at this might think the same thing. Like, okay, what am I supposed to do here? I'm swapping tokens. There's not really any instructions. It's just ramen swap, get started. There's not like, 
anything about the project or what or like what benefit it brings so i mean it's it's not a bad project let's see what else you got gn news website done for recruitment you can fetch news from the news api change language change the news outlet um okay then you have a github code all right nobody's going to want to look at the code um you either got to have like a live project or a video of the project of like at the bare minimum but like linking github code especially for somebody who's going to be landing and looking at your website most of the time they are going to be hr they're going to they are hr is always the gatekeeper they are the ones who receive the questions from the tech team they ask you these questions so a lot of times they don't even know the correct answer or what they're even asking and they look at your resume and your portfolio okay so having get and even if okay even if a manager looks at this right a manager on a tech team most tech teams have a lot of work to do they have a ton of work to do so by you sharing your code is they're not going to look at it 100% not going to look at it they're just going to keep going okay um and and a lot of times they get a lot of applicants at that as well so you know if they're if they're going through 50 applicants a day just to try to fill one position they're like they want to see projects and they just want to see projects okay oh okay so you did a starbucks clone HTML and CSS. Um, let's see. I do Polish. Um, just being honest, you should take this off of your portfolio. This picture isn't optimized to the right size. Um, this one is a little pixelated. This doesn't look good text expands across the entire screen that does not look good um now there is heavy pictures and um, seems like you just have a, a list of pictures and you're just displaying them and then you have a grid a grid is very impressive like this is this part is probably the most impressive part right here uh, but again these pictures aren't really that great um and this website is, I mean, just not worthy to be putting on a portfolio. Okay, so let's let's get that one out. Okay, and that's it. So, um, Mr. Prusik, Prusik, uh, let me see. Is this okay? All right, I like that. Okay, about section. Okay, so this is just navigation through. Let me see your. All right. This is your resume. All right, Polish. So I suspect you are looking for jobs um, in Europe somewhere. Um, ramen swap, GN, Starbucks clone. I definitely recommend doing this, stating your projects. If you don't have any real experience in the field, state what your projects are about. Um, I wish I could have seen this project. Uh, can't host it because of course. Ah, uh, man, you can't figure this out. Don't put this on your portfolio. Oh, this is this is terrible. Don't don't say that because they're gonna be like, what you can't what you can't you can't figure out how to get past course. Like that's something that you're gonna experience in a um real environment as well. So I would I would take this out um, and try to figure out how to get this to where people can check it out. Maybe even just publish it to a to a real um, to a real domain name, and, you know, and just have that domain as the link to it. All right, for a beginner, your your resume it it looks good. I mean, your projects don't really justify this ramen swap is probably the best project you have but 
honestly. Um, it doesn't really show that you know React, TypeScript, Redux, SAS. It doesn't show that you know this stuff. This is probably stuff that was just implemented in the website that could have been all avoided um, as well, especially since nobody is going to really connect their wallet with MetaMask. GN News, we can't really see, so we can't even talk about that. And Starbucks clone needs to be replaced, uh, just being completely honest. So, hey, man, thank you for your submission, though. And and um, honestly, I wish you the best of luck. Um, I truly feel like with a couple tweaks to your resume, definitely add more projects Um take out the starbucks clone the starbucks clone is not going to get you anywhere somebody gonna click on that and click off of it like in a blink of an eye all right instead how about you look up some websites or look up some businesses in your area some restaurants some like like a type of service business and look at their website that they currently have redo their website add a little functionality like you know for a restaurant add a menu or add where they can make an a like a reservation or something like something that could be used in a real world application right do those sorts of things add it on your um portfolio remove starbucks remove starbucks and if you do a clone don't i don't recommend doing a clone right because the clone would never look as good as the actual thing especially when it comes to a big enterprise company like starbucks right it's, it's not gonna look like starbucks application so instead you know just do what i just said um and i think that will bring you a lot more luck okay so thank you guys for tuning in make sure you leave a like if you want your portfolio review please email me i'm gonna leave my email down in, in the description below and stay tuned for more. Peace.